there are many different interactions that can occur between different types of organisms. And one of the ways we can categorize them is by how much benefit or harm those interactions have to either organism. So a lot of times, organisms support each other and help each other. And so one example would be, so we could have organism number one and organism number two, and maybe they both experience the benefit here. In that case, it's mutually beneficial, and we say that is mutualism. Both organisms benefit from, from the interaction that they have. Sometimes um, the organisms might live in the same environment, but they don't really impact what happens with each other, and there might be no effect on either one, and we usually call that neutralism. Sometimes organisms can uh, harm each other when they interact in the same environment. So, uh, for example, if we have two different things, like maybe two different types of grass that are competing for space, uh, both of those take, take energy and the competition between those two can be harmful to, to both species. So competition usually takes energy and that is, is harmful to both. So all three of these examples had the same influence between species one and two, but sometimes one organism can benefit, whereas another organism uh, gets harmed. So let's say we start with one or, if an, one organism eats another organism, there's benefit to the one that's doing the eating and there's harm to the one that's being eaten. So these sorts of relationships are, are for example, predation. Um, usually with predation, the organisms are, uh, one organism, is, the organisms are about the same size or one is larger and uh, the predator kills the prey. And then we also have, uh, and I can see the orange doesn't show up very well, so I'll write it in red. We also have uh, parasites, parasitism. And this is a case usually when um, one organism is much smaller than the other and it takes resources from the larger organism um, without actually killing it. So an example of a parasite uh, would be, for example, a tick. Um, it sucks um, blood uh, and it doesn't usually kill the host organism. And so it can um, get resources from it for a long time. In the case of both predation and parasitism, only one organism benefits and the other one um, is harmed. Uh, there are also examples where uh, one organism might benefit and one is neutral. So in this particular case, so an example might be um, cattle egrets, which eat insects, it's much, they, it's much easier for them to catch the insects if there are cattle or other livestock, antelope, deer, walking around stirring up those insects. So this, this, this particular case um, is commensalism because one organism benefits um, relative uh, to the others. You can also have a process where one organism doesn't really get any benefit, but its activity uh, harms another organism. And so that would be a case of, um, of for example, a, uh, animals walking on a path. They actually um, uh, step on insects present or new sprouts of plants. And so they 
don't really get much benefit from stepping on those plants except maybe a, a, it's nice to have a trail which is why they keep using them but they do uh, cause harm uh, to to other organisms and so of course we, we sort of have these different categories um, but the level of benefit uh, and harm varies a great deal and there are often feedbacks in those relationships through more than one species that, that make these interactions um, really complicated and uh, very rich. They're the types of things that lead to uh, 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 complex ecosystems uh, the way we know them on Earth and appreciate them on Earth. Thanks for watching.